hi guys and welcome to another video in this video i am going to show you how to get back your wireless capability in your windows device this works for windows 7 8 10 or even 11 so without any delay let's begin first of all there are three different reasons for the cause of this problem the first one is either you have enabled this airplane mode or you may have pressed the wi-fi button from your keyboard which means just by pressing the wireless button from the keyboard will solve this problem and by doing so if it is not fixed yet then you can try the next option which is to change some adapter settings in order to change the adapter settings we need to go to control panel so search for control panel and open it now go to network and internet in case if you have different interface just go to view by and click on large icons i will do this as category and go to network and internet then click on network and sharing center and just to the left of it you can see change adapter settings click on it as you can see i have three different wi-fi adapters available one is ethernet and the other is vpn and finally we have this wi-fi option so it is disabled let's enable it just right click on it and click on enable so it will enable your device this process might have fixed your problem and if it is not fixed yet then right click on it and go to properties and make sure that inside this internet protocol version 4 go to properties and here you have obtained an ip address automatically is checked and dns server address automatically is also checked then click on ok now close this and check whether your internet works or not then we have got our final option remaining which is to reset the driver go to start menu and right click on it and choose device manager once you are inside device manager you need to search for network adapters choose the wireless network adapter yours might be different from mine but it says wi-fi or something like wireless network adapter right click on it and click on on install device then don't check this one just click on on install and the device is on install successfully so to get back this driver software you may need to either restart your device or just click this scan for hardware changes option so now right click on it click on update driver choose browse my computer for drivers click this let me pick option choose one of the available driver then click on next now close this and this step will surely fix your problem so if you have any other kind of issue regarding your windows pc or laptop then you can comment on the comment section and i will post a video related to the solution of that problem thank you and i will see you in the next video